Oh, yeah. Damn. This is crazy. Nomaditsu. Hey all, big news in the AI space today, especially for creatives. We just got access to one of the best AI video generators available today. If you want to generate stunning AI video for free, stick around to learn how. So this is the tweet I saw this morning that got me really excited. As you'll see, it's from a company called Kling AI, and they were known to having one of the most advanced AI video generators up there, comparable with Sora. And I really wanted to try it, but at the time, it was really hard to sign up. You would need a Chinese phone number, and it just seemed too complicated. But now it's very easily available. As you'll see here, you just need an email to sign up and you get free credits to generate videos. We'll see how many videos we're able to create with the 66 credits that you get per day. Let's try it out. Okay, so this is my first impression of the UI. I just logged in and so you have image generation, which looks like it's provided by a third party and you have AI video generation and you have a video editor, which is not available yet. And then you have some community generations Let's take a look at one of these. So this is just an image generation. Let's take a look at this cat. Holy crap. Oh my God. Hey guys, this is insane. That is incredible. Look at the detail on the fur and the bokeh effect. That is insane. Let's check out some more. Oh, that is crazy. Look at the smoke. Look at the detail. That That's really impressive. And Look at the anatomy of the camel. It's looking pretty good and cohesive. Look at the, wow, the shadows are really accurate. So that's, that's pretty interesting. This has improved since I first saw it. Let's take a look at this one. Does this, does the image, that is really sharp though. Incredible. Let's see, is that, okay. Cute rabbit wearing glasses, sitting at a table. Let's see this in HD. All right, looks like he's talking. We got detailed notes in the notebook and we have the heart shape in the cappuccino or coffee cup. This is pretty stunning. This is actually better than I expected it would be. Okay, so we got a taste of the kind of content this could generate. Let's take a look at the rest of the UI. So here you have your credits and they expire in 24 hours. And it looks like they haven't launched their subscription program, but they are working on it. And then you have your profile here, your assets that you generated and some basic legal stuff. All right, so let's go to the meat of it and just generate a video. So we have the cling text to video. And oh, this is pretty cool. They also have image to video that's going to be really handy and there's even a add end frames looks like it's not there yet let's throw this in verbatim and see what it does i inputted the prompt and you could see one generation takes 10 credits we could extend it looks like high performance mode does not support 10 second videos so high performance i'm guessing is speedier generation and high quality is Wow, look at that high resolution. And it looks like that's not available yet. And you have a creativity slash relevance slider. Let's leave that at default. And you have the resolutions. You also have some camera movement. So you could control which direction the camera moves. Let's just leave it for now. And then you could add negative prompts. So we'll leave all that and let's generate. Let's see how long it takes. So the AI is still generating the video. It's been about 25 minutes. So I thought I'd explore a little bit more of the product. Let's go to AI image generation and let's create the next image that we'll use as the first frame for our next video. We'll be doing an image to video generation. So we're gonna create the first frame. The image I'd like to generate is a cat as a sushi chef crafting a beautiful piece of sushi, dramatic, cinematic, dry ice, smoke effects. 
and we're not using a reference image and we're going for 16 by 9 because we're going to turn it into a video after and it looks like one image is just 0.8 credits so let's generate that and it looks like it's generating multiple images we'll see how this goes okay it looks like that didn't take very long we have the first image wow that looks amazing that is so detailed i would say this is better than chat gpt okay it finished generating the images and i have to say these look incredible. I didn't give that much direction and it generated extremely detailed, cinematic, photorealistic images. And I could definitely see this becoming a really amazing video. Let's see the other ones. Just the composition and the drama created. This is perfect. What I would usually do is compare the same prompt in different image generators. So let's do that as a bonus because we're still waiting for the video to generate. Let me cue this up. You compare the image generation with some of the other image generator tools that I use. I'm going to start with Leonardo AI. And so I'm just putting in the same prompt verbatim right in here. And you'll see it costs 24 tokens out of 150 free tokens. And let's see what it generates. I will also go into ChatGBT. And because it needs a little bit of prompting, I will add this at the beginning, create photorealistic image of, and then our prompt. Just to make sure that it generates an image and doesn't do text so let's hit that you'll see here i forgot to do 16 by 9 aspect ratio it just did a square aspect ratio these look really good but the composition is kind of too symmetrical and kind of boring so let's see what happens if I do 16 by 9 and let's reprompt that. And then over here, so ChatGPT did a pretty good job as well. It does look too clean and too fake in my opinion. Let's compare back. This for some reason just looks so much more real. Here it looks kind of obviously like a AI generated image. And then let's see what Leonardo generates. Interesting. So it generated a black cat here, has the arms way more defined. It's looking way more human here. And all of these, I guess it's using the same seed. It looks pretty impressive as well, but it still also looks fake. It doesn't look as real. It looks a little too perfect if you can see what I mean. If that makes any sense. Let's compare back. The cling just really nailed the idea that I was going for. So we're going to stick with the cling AI. Let's download that. Just in case we need this image, I downloaded it. And I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use that one as the main image. This one's kind of funny, but this one looks like it has more action. It looks like it's ready to do something. So I'm going to use this as the first frame. Oh, look at this. So it has a bring to life shortcut. I think that's how you will turn this image quickly into a video instead of having to re-upload it. So I'm going to hit that and that's what it does. It brings it into the image to video UI and you don't have to add a prompt, but let's add something. So for my prompt, I have a cat sushi chef eats a piece of sushi and let's generate that so it's in the generation queue strangely the original first image that i started nearly 40 minutes ago is still generating so i might have to go get some dinner and see where this is at after but so far i have to say the image generation is really awesome let's look at the images again i'm really impressed with this image generator and because you get free image generations every day or you get free credits every day i would definitely come back and add this to my arsenal of creative ai tools so while we are waiting Let's go check out this last tab over here, my assets. And it looks like this is going to be your profile. And I don't know if you could change your ID. I guess that's something you could change later on. Yeah, it doesn't look like you could change it right now, but you have a profile and then you have the images and videos you've generated. It looks like you could favorite some and you could look at the image batch here let's see if you could star individual ones okay so when you start it it looks like it it stars the whole batch you could download report and delete and then edit what does edit do okay so hitting edit just brought me back to the image generator now while we're waiting let's also take a look at this reference image feature so it looks like you could generate works that match the text description but it's 
using a style transfer. So we could generate an image styled by a certain image. Let's try that out. So what I did was I looked for an Iron Chef image. Here's the image that I'll be referencing. So it shows here you could choose a reference strength. Let's leave it at default. And let's generate the image with the exact same prompts. So it looks like it was using a little bit more for the credits, 1.20 credits. Okay, so the generation is done. And interesting, it looks like there is little to no sushi left in the shot. Um, this is the closest, I guess, of a style transfer that I was hoping for. It got the yellow uniform, but it transferred too much of the elements, such as the fire and... I mean, the fire could have been okay if there was still sushi, but it looks like there's no sushi left, and in two of these generations, it completely lost the cat. So that didn't work. We're gonna stick with the original images here. These were just perfect. So I think I'm gonna get some dinner because if we check the video, it looks like it is still being generated. It's been stuck at 99% for the last 46 minutes since I prompted for the video. So just be aware that it could take a while. I was curious what would happen if I used an illustration for the reference image. Let's try this illustration I found online. See what happens and let's generate generation finished and here are the generation it definitely got the new style there's some problems with this generation with the arm is a little messed up and there's some chopsticks coming out of the clouds i guess that's okay definitely created that style i think my favorite one is this one just needs to fix that hand a bit. So that's how reference image feature works. We'll actually go for dinner now and hopefully the video will be done by the time I get back. Okay, so our first generation is done. Let's check it out. Okay. Actually, let's go full screen. So you have this cat, it is transforming but it levitates and it is still transforming, but then it falls back down. What I will say is the detail is, is incredible. Like the fur and the reflection on the fur is amazing, but not quite at what I was expecting. Let's go back to the prompt. So it was a cat transforming into different wild felines, tiger, lion, cheetah, as it runs through various landscapes. So I think it wasn't the problem of the generator, it was the prompt. I had a feeling that this prompt was too complicated. That's why I'm really glad we did uh, image to video prompt. Let's go on to the Sushi Chef cat. <laughs> oh yeah. Damn. Oh. Damn, look at that. <laughs> okay. This is crazy. This is light years beyond my last experience with video generation, which was runway, I think it was V2. Put the video up on screen. But look at that. Let's analyze this. Okay, so you can see it eating. Look at that motion with the hands. Look at the tongue there. Look at the smoke, how realistic that is. Look at the the movement of the of the Maki sushi over here as he's picking up the other piece. Like there is physics going on over here. That is incredible. Oh my god. So there you have it. We tried out the new Kling AI and it's blown away my expectations. 
I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Shout out to Kling AI for providing free credits for us to try this amazing tool. Now there was other big news recently that I want to cover as well. And that was the launch of Llama 3.1 with the new 405 billion parameter model, which is GPT-4 level and it's open source. So everybody can use it for free. And they also updated their smaller models, which means more free tools for us to use. So expect a video on that. That's all for now. Until next time, keep optimizing. Nomaditsu.